Hi, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. We are going to do a special request today, and I'm going to tell you I'm really nervous about it because I've never done gravy, and I've never done anything with flour to make it into a gravy or anything like that. So, this will be a new thing for me, too. So, you know we can't see inside that thing. Otherwise, you can, but then you can't hear me. So, all right, I'm going to turn it on. Medium. And I've already cooked my bacon and my hamburger. So, um, that's already done. We're going to put in a quarter cup of butter. Yes, we hear you, Belle. She always wants to make sure we hear her. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to melt it. I can't even see in it. That's pretty bad. But I wasn't sure how deep it would be, so I didn't want to use my regular pan. So that will stay right there. That's fine. Let me get a different spoon. All right. So what we're going to do is um, a medium onion and two stalks of celery. Then we're going to put in there to saute. And that's supposed to saute for two minutes. So that you don't have to watch me stirring and sauteing. I will be right back as soon as it's sauteed. Alright, I moved my camera a little bit, so hopefully you can see a little bit in there. Um, now it says to stir in the garlic, which is a clove of garlic. Which, you know, I just use the dice, so I'm not sure what a clove would be. I don't think that'd be a clove. <laughs> and then it says, the part that makes me nervous, <laughs> six tablespoons of flour. And you stir that in. You want to try to break up all the spot, the stuff in it. And then you stir that for two minutes. Everybody already heard her tell them. She's lost her best friends, must be. <laughs> Alright, so let me stir this in for two minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so now it says to add four cups of chicken broth. And then you're going to whisk that in till there's no flour left in there. Do you want a video or no? It's videoing. Um, we just can't see real deep into this. That's the only thing I like about this new one. It's a little tall. Yeah, it's a lot tall. <laughs> Tom's finally home doing my stuff. All right, there is no lumps. Now it says to stir in a cup of cream. And stir that in first. Ooh, la, la. Looking good. Now it says Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of it. And then it says to increase the pot to high. Okay. <laughs> and add the potatoes, which it says a pound of potatoes cut up small. And the beef. So let me cut that open. Alrighty. That was holding up my recipe too. <laughs> Alright. Now it says stir that stuff in, bring it to a boil. 
<laughs> Medium low heat so that so it works for the cast iron. <laughs> Alright, so now it says to put the lid on there for a few minutes and I will be back. I thought I'd come back for a second while it's cooking. It says it has to cook for 15 minutes. And I don't want to seem stupid today, but I really have never done any of this today. Um, ever. <laughs> I've always wanted to make the SOS, but, you know, like I've never done that. Um, the flour thing intimidates me because I don't want it to be clumpy and gross. So it's always kind of scared me to do it. So, you know, I've been sitting here thinking while it's cooking over here. Um, sometimes in the kitchen... We let our fears take control. And I'm learning with you guys some of the things. And I don't think you expect me to be perfect. So, like, if it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. Because I guess we all have that. So, I'm glad you guys are good with me. Because <laughs> I'm willing to try anything. But, actually, this was requested a couple weeks ago. And I was just, honestly, so nervous. And I didn't want to try it. And then... I seen it pop up again and I'm like, oh my. So I just I the reason I came back while it's still cooking is because we need to not be afraid. And if there's something we really want to try, what's the worst we do? We mess it up. You know, I mean there's a couple dollars in there and which sucks. I don't want to waste a couple dollars worth of food, but nine chances out of ten we aren't gonna screw it up. So Bear with me today. I'm reading word for word on this recipe. Just bear with me and hopefully it'll turn out to be an amazing cheeseburger soup. And like Tom says, maybe it'll be so good that he'll help me with the preps from now on. <laughs> so I'll be back when the um, potatoes get to be soft and then we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but thanks for bearing with me, you guys. And, and I just wanted to tell you, I've been you know, things scare me too and they intimidate me and that's one of them. So maybe I could actually make my own gravies if I can learn to do this. Because I used to love milk gravy, but <laughs> I've always been too afraid to try it. So, I'll be back and in the meantime, thanks for bearing with me, guys. Thought I'd bring you back so you can see what it's looking like up close. And there's no glopses there, Tom. Mm. I think I might have done it right. <laughs> so we'll be back when the potatoes are done and get the rest of it finished. I have an assistant. <laughs> All right, so we're going to slowly stir in Don't put any more in there. You can do that first. the cheese. Make sure you're good. We don't want it to cool down too much because you turn off the heat. Yeah. Ready? This way it gets in all of it. Well, if you do more than just scrape the top, it'd probably get in better. <laughs> Jack's going to taste test it, too. There's all the cheese. Now we're going to add in um, five strips of bacon, cut into small pieces. And it says you can use it as a decoration, but I'm just going to add it in there. A quarter cup of chopped up pickles. Oh, that looks edible. Yeah, it does. All righty. We're going to get it to the table and we're going to taste test it. We'll be right back. All righty. There's his soup. <laughs> He's already been munching, can you tell? <laughs> hmm. What do you think? That's really good. That's really, really good. And no clumpies or nothing? No clumpies or nothing. I actually did it right? Mm hmm <sighs> See you guys conquer fear. Goodbye, Tom. Bye, Tom. And we will see you guys at 5 o'clock tomorrow. 
You guys have a very blessed night.